What is happening, YouTube? Cowboy here, and welcome back to our Scholar of the First Sin walkthrough. As you may remember, we are now at Aldia's Keep, and it's time to get out long on our way, make it through the keep, get our staff. So before we go too much further, this is information that I pulled from online about a couple different weapons that have had their placements changed. And I quote, The staff can now be found in a mimic in Aldia's Keep, but to open it you need Aldia's Key and pull the lever in the room, which release all monsters in the hall. Slay them all first, and then you can get the staff from the wooden mimic chest in the same room. So, whether or not that's true or not, we will find out shortly. I hope it is. Ah, yes. The brother of Mira. Lucetiel's brother that she was never able to compete with. Sadly, he's just a punk bitch before us. I hate how that thing rattles. Alright, so let's mosey on in. Now the first thing you're going to notice when opening up the keep is obviously you have this massive fucking stone dragon. Don't get that loot. That's dragon bait. Maybe not. Did they change you? This dragon used to jump up immediately and try to ruin your shit. Maybe that's not the case anymore. I guess it's not. And that was actually really cool, in my opinion. That was probably one of the cooler things about the keep. Is that dragon would try to ruin your shit right when you got in. So, either way, up here... Please. We have a uh, good old Navlan. Now, we're gonna... Nope, he's not gonna talk to us right now. Well, either way, we are going to release Navlan because I want his quest. Um, so to do that, I need to die. So before we hit that switch, actually, let me talk to the human form. Because I'm trying to remember, I think there's some loot we can get to him. And I believe loose souls and return to the last bonfire use. I just need to get myself killed here. And just run up a bit. I'll find something to beat my ass. Mr. Hippo's still here. So we're going to let him shit all over us real fast. Come on, man. Usually these things slaughter me. This one's taking its sweet-ass time. There you go. Jeez, big guy. You took long enough. Now, Navlan is a very interesting NPC. And that not only does he offer some of the most bowling spells in the game, such as Forbidden Sun, but he also tasks you with killing a number of other NPCs. Now, you don't actually have to kill any of the NPCs. There's items that you need to basically get. Um, for example, you need to get the small ladder, the ladder smith, which you can buy. Um, another one, for example, is you need to get the feather from the emerald uh, emerald maiden and she gives that to you upon reaching the next area so now you don't have to actually kill anybody you can but you don't have to I wonder don't you dare does lighting this do something now I wonder all right so the way he should talk to us now that we're hollowed you're nicely hollowed aren't you indeed are you tormented by memories but now the question this long ago this naive vessel of mine set about devising new spells the fool dreamt of bringing new forms of magic into the world but instead he created me mostly by chance but he did a fine job I must say what he sought was strength and so I decided all right, so we're going to skip through the rest of this. No, I... So, if you... Yes, I... I... Is the... I want you... And... I want you to... All right, so we got to go through his stuff before he'll give us his goodies, so... Now, if I remember, if you pull the lever, that actually lets him out. So we don't want to do that just yet. I am going to light this. I'm curious what setting a light here will do. 
Oh, hey there, buddy. Interesting. Nope, did not mean to do that. Oh my god, I'm gonna die getting stuck on top of the dragon. That would be a very disappointing way to go. Could have gone up and got the repast there. Didn't really need to though. not mistaken, another piece of forlorn loot should now be available for us for purchase over at uh, Strayed. So, let's kill Mr. Hippo. What the fuck? Why can't I get under this? Jesus, it's stuck. Come on, big guy. Okay, maybe he can't get past the bones. Good old dragon acolyte mask, really cool helm. <clears throat> With him down, we will run up. Kill this thing. Usually it starts spitting out gas, but it seems to be a bit slow right now. Remember, there's a chest. Yep, way back here. Let's grab that. Ooh, another one. Actually, I'm going to use this as an opportunity to practice. Nope, not what I wanted to do. I don't know the parry timing at all for the scythe, so it wouldn't hurt to uh, actually practice trying to learn those. And man, that is a brutal combo when it connects. Maybe I can't parry that attack. Either way, I am just bleeding out health against him. There we go. It's not hitting you as nearly as hard as I would like it to. I gotta say, he's actually pretty fucking resilient. Die, damn it. Let's get this chest. <clears throat> I think this is Unleash Magic, maybe? No, Bonfire Aesthetic, huh? Thought it was Unleash Magic, but I don't know. I may have poor memory. Location may have just changed, who knows. Let's get our magic stone there. Crimson water there. This way. So I didn't clear the middle path at all. The mirror dudes. There we go. And. Oh, that's right, the trap lizards. Aren't you fucking nice? Alright, 
Another chest. There we go. Great magic barrier. That's what I was thinking of. Not unleash magic, but that. Alright. So now we gotta fight a number of mirror warriors. They don't have to fight these things. These are purely optional, but... I mean, there's no real reason not to fight them. There we go. That has one. I think that one has one as well. Northern Ritual Band plus two. Very nice. think there was anything else back here, but I'm going to go and take a quick peek just to make sure. And indeed there is not. Okay. So that takes care <coughs> of the mirror warriors. Now we're going to head on up top. Finish going through the rest of this zone. Dragon. Right, now. I would suggest using a Pharos Lockstone here. It'll help out a ton. Light the whole area up, making it a hell of a lot easier. Now you got guys hiding behind paintings, as you can kind of already see a glimpse of this one here. Once you walk past it. Oh, come on out. Well, I'm out of dark warps. That's a pity. Remember, there's a wall. Oh, never mind. It's not a wall. It's just a uh, opening. That. gloves. Open this up and get our bonfire. Anything in this room now? Nope. Oh, some loot. Just. There we go. Rest real quick. Get back all of our durability. If I remember, Aldia's key is the one that's down in there. So first thing we gotta do is take out these things. I'm guessing this is another forlorn fight. Let's head up and uh, save one of our butterflies. Actually, I don't know if I can actually parry that. I don't know if it's only ultra great swords that you can't parry, or if regular great swords are also considered part of the. Uh, I don't know. I'm still new into the what I can and can't parry thing. Oh man. I think fighting the scythe one was a little bit easier. 
stagger on those pokes. Back fell, Alkalite. You shall not pass. All right. So, as always, pull off rings and armor. Head on in and grab the loot. And I believe this is the key right here. No soul geyser, huh. I wanna say that used to be the key. Maybe I'm mistaken, but let's put our shit back on. Where is it at? Go. 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 And ram boots right there. Excellent. One, two, um, three, and the last ring I had on. Casting speed. We would have also lost Dark Hail. Put that back on. Alright, we're ready to go. Now yeah, we had on time anyway. 16 minutes? Alright, I think we can get through another uh, sizable portion of the keep before we wrap up this one. We'll probably end up killing the Dragon Guardian in the next episode, but we'll get through the rest of the keep first. Own shield. This is the door. I think I need, yeah. So I need to find Aldia's key. Where did they move that? I could have sworn it was where we just were. I want to say a big angry thing pops out of here. Maybe not. Maybe we also need Aldia's key for that. Yeah, so that thing pops out. Ah, ha, ha. Knew that was coming, and it still hit. Let's pull them back. And I think you're supposed to use them, actually, to break open that one door. At least that's how it used to be. But I remember... I don't remember using the, uh, the ogres for that. I remember using the the big-ass angry dude for that. So I don't know if that's still the, the case. I don't know, the same guys that used to be down by the Lost Center. I remember I had to bait that thing to break it open. I'd imagine the ogre also could, but... I don't know, let's kill this one for now. I gotta figure out what they did with Aldia's key. I swear, it used to be down in the pit. hit pretty hard. Fire dragon bone, and this is the pit from before. Where did they move that fucking key to is the question. Maybe I do have to have them break through this door. Yeah, enemy required ahead and short luring it out. Yeah, okay. Alright, so we're gonna bust that open. Oh, and there's the big thing that I was looking for. Come on, usually you shoot this and it falls down unless they change that as well. Maybe they changed more than I thought. Alright. So, we're gonna try use him to bust open the door. 
Like I said, usually I use the other thing that's up in the cage, but I have a feeling that this dude should work for the same purpose, pretty much. I just need to get him nice and close. And then I need to dodge. There we go. Thank you, Mr. Porky. Now we'll take care of you. That's so creepy how they run with like their face up. They're like, you want me to come at you, bro? I'm coming at you. Probably another fight here with uh, another forlorn. Let's find out. Yep, it is. Wow. I got caught on the backswing and hit that chest. You need to die so I can buy your whole armor set and evaluate the fashion of it. Figure that would actually uh, stun lock him, but apparently mid jump it's not going to happen. There we go. Malformed shell. Okay. Oh, well, either way, we still don't have the key. Um, obviously, up through this door. Go through there, and that should take us... I believe there's one more hippo dude. Let's get close to the door and back up. Yup! Still there. Still there. I know... <laughs> It's like I've, I've experienced it hundreds of times, and every single time, still, it makes me shit a brick when that thing bursts through the wall. Down you go. Alright, so up ahead is the Dragon Guardian. Obviously, I need to find out where the hell they moved Aldia's key to, so I'm going to do a little bit of exploring. And either way, in the next episode, we will pick up the key, finish up with the keep, and then continue on into the Dragon Eerie. So make sure to stay tuned, and we will catch you guys then.